All right, welcome everyone to uh, the second cast of the day for Mario Kart Wii World Cup, the the Swiss stage at least. Um, for today's matchup, we have or tonight we have Canada versus U.S. North. Commentators are me and uh, Matt will be here shortly. He's just finishing something up. Um, to start, I guess we can just hop in with their lineups just real quick. Um, so to start with, we have USA Sean, USA Taka, Edison, Swig, and Evan. Uh, U.S. North in the past had Sean play in, I'm pretty sure, every single match. And I think Edison played in majority of them. So they're familiar faces here. They're going to be the, the two main runners, I'd say, to look for in this. And then we have some new names, Taka, Swig, and Evan. Evan's never played in a World Cup. Actually, I don't think Swig or Taka have either. I think all three of them have zero experience in this kind of setting. But uh, you expect big things from them. Taka, Swig, and Evan all played D1. Uh... Taka being on Lightspeed Kitty Cats, USA Swig being on uh, Daisy Squad, and I believe SE the season before, and Evan also being on Lightspeed. So very competent runners and baggers all around. Very good team. Uh, they're the fourth seed in this, which is pretty deserved, I would say. Um, we can go to, I guess, Canada's lineup now, which is probably a bit more interesting to talk about. So in recent time, uh, Zesty and Thunder have proven themselves to be Pretty top runners. I'd say Zesty's by far their best, but Zesty and Thunder are both their D1 their D1 gamers. Uh, and then we have Jack and Ethan, who typically I see play Division 2 and 3 when they played like GSC or whatever league in the past. Um, Jack's uh, a main runner for MV, team currently in D3. Uh, also a team that was good in D2 just the last season. So very respectable runner, very good at both RTs and CTs, probably mechanically good. Excited to see him play. I don't think I've ever watched him play. And then Ethan, a great T tier. Good player all around. I'm not sure how good he is in Wars. It might be a little iffy, but, um, you know, it'll be interesting to just see how this team meshes. I think they're going to rely on Zesty and Thunder to do a lot. And then Aidlo, who is a bagger I am not familiar with, honestly. Um, as far as I know, he... Uh, he bagged in like D3 a few seasons ago, and uh, I'm pretty sure Zesty said he did all right. So we'll have to see how it goes. Not entirely sure, but I'd say the favorites here are easily US North. Um, if you want to go to the Swiss stage graphic, I guess, we could talk about some of the matches that happened today, and I think one happened like two days ago. So, so far the teams who have played are, sorry, one second, let me pull it up. Yeah, the teams who have played are Team France and Team Germany. Team USA South and Team Norway, and then Team England and Team Italy. Uh, with France winning a tiebreaker, actually. Tying after 12 races, having to go to a GP4. Which is probably the only time that's going to happen in this entire thing, if I'm going to be honest. That's pretty... It just never happens. It's pretty sick that there's close matches this early on into the tournament. Um, France ends up winning that by 44. They move on to be 1-0. And Germany falls to be 0-1 when Germany was favored, I believe. Uh, USA South versus Norway and England versus Italy were not very, uh, not very close overall, but, you know, um, st still hope for both Italy and Norway as going 0-1 isn't the end of the world. You, you're eliminated. Uh, it's a little unique for those who don't know. Once a team hits 3-0, like with win three wins, they automatically advance to the bracket play. And once a team hits three losses, they are eliminated. Like no questions asked, no nothing. So... Uh, very unique and cool. Very excited to see how the rest of this tournament plays out. Been great matches all around. I'm sure this one will be good too. And Matt has joined. If you want to say what's up, Matt. Yes, yes. What's up, everybody? I had to finish my Mogi Lounge event, but we are here. <laughs> we are ready. I'm excited yeah. for this match. So Two very we went fun over. Teams. Yeah, yeah, we went over both their lineups already and the, the matches that just happened. Is there anything you want to add about uh, being a U.S. North player? Do you want to add anything about this lineup or anyone specific? Anything to look for? <laughs> um, I'm excited to see Evan getting some playtime. I know, you know, Mac is the captain of, of USA East and, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll be playing a lot of the later stage matches, but Evan, you know, love that guy and excited to see what he's going to do for, for the team. Uh, I'm also excited to see Ethan... And Jack playing for Canada, I know, like, Canada, they sort of have a very solidified first two runners with Zessie and Thunder, but I think they can pretty much rotate anyone in for those last two spots. And, you know, Ethan, 
very fast player. Jack, a lot of experience on CTs and RCs with MV. Um, and we'll see what they're going to do on the, the big stage today. Should be very exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with you. I mean, this should be... Honestly, I think a lot of people would expect it to be a blowout considering that 4 seed and 13 seed, but I think it'll be a lot closer than expected. Probably a lot closer <laughs> than like the England, Italy, or South and uh, Norway match, for example. Yeah, um, no, I think it'll be a very exciting match. Uh, I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's going to be a blowout, personally. I, you know, everyone on this screen is is very competent. Um, Alo, too, I, I, I haven't, you know, I, I know he's been sort of a, he's a newish new player. Um, We'll see how he does against Evan, who has a lot more experience bagging in in higher level wars than him. But yeah, it could could be, could be a little rough. But yeah, I'm we'll I'm really how it goes. Yeah. How many do they even have in the room? I'm not even sure. I think like seven or something. So I think we have a little more time if we want to go over anything specific. Like if you want to predict scores or if you want to guess who's going to MVP, whatever. Evan in the room. Um. Yeah, I can see. I can see this being a, a zesty, you know, big points match. <laughs> yeah, so I, like if he, I were to... He's going to be the go one ahead. to, uh, you know, if Canada's going to make a run in, in this match, he's going to be the one to take them there. Um, obviously, Thunder, a very good player, too. Um, but Zesty is going to be the one controlling all the calls in, in that team. Um, and I'm not sure if I've seen this specific Canada lineup scrim together. I know they have a bunch of other players who are more active in scrims than Ethan and Thunder, especially Thunder. I don't know how much he's playing at all, but um, Zesty is yeah, sort of um, always there, helping with yeah. the comms and everything. I think he will Z be Zesty, glue. Zesty said before this match, Thunder hadn't said a word in the Team Canada chat in, in like two months, so I'm guessing the chemistry oh, wow. won't really be there, but uh, uh, I'm predicting like a, like a Thunder like 90-ish points and then a Zesty like 118. I'm just going to go with 118 and 118. then we'll see uh, We'll, we'll see a uh, we'll see a Sean Barry uh, one twelve, right. but uh, I got U.S. North winning by, I don't know, I'll say like forty six. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I yeah, I don't know if I, I I would have said something around there too. I can definitely see it being. I don't think I think the only way I see it ending in more of a blowout is if the bagging battle is just ends up super unbalanced. But yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Alo has been very active recently, um, and you know, I, th I think it'll be fine. I, I don't think it's gonna be a blowout, but definitely something to keep an eye on. Yeah, honestly, I am um, not entirely sure how important these like first matches are with Swiss. Like, obviously, every match is important, but mm -hmm. let's say <clears throat> I don't know. It's just Swiss. Swiss is a little weird. Uh, I guess it's like the ne the next matchups are entirely random, so you could obviously like. Yeah. USN could choke this, like, considering the uh, favorites. They could somehow choke this and then just literally, uh, I don't know, get, like, two easy matchups in a row and then they're just, like, you know what I mean? Like, just stuff like that. Yeah, yeah um, exactly. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm I, a big fan of this format. And, you know, I think both of these teams have the potential to get into the playoff section. For sure. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited that they're they're trying this Wiz format out. I think it works really well. Um makes more sense than group format i think because i remember last world cup there was a the group of death with like germany and japan and i think maybe england as well i don't know if you remember that but it was like you know yeah it was like balanced and um yeah. <laughs> and it also makes it a lot harder for the you know the teams that end up getting put in groups where they're like clearly the third best team it makes it harder for them you know they don't didn't really have a chance to get in the playoffs but yeah this I, is a lot more lenient for that i think the cool thing to look forward to uh this is completely unique to every other world cup or i, I think anything else like i've seen in like mario kart is mm. later on the elimination matches from swiss stage and the advancing matches are all f instead of like a best of three they're just like a five gp war so just 20 straight yeah. races most points after 20 points 20 races i mean mm. uh obviously wins it's very yeah. unique. I kind of like how they're running this uh, tournament. It's very different. I'm super um, excited to see how that goes. Yeah, I think it's a great. I think it's a good balance between, you know, just a regular three GP war and a whole BO3. Because doing a whole BO3 for every single playoff round is a little bit iffy, just in terms of 
time management and you know getting everything done within a reasonable time frame especially because you know all these matches are scheduled beforehand and it, you know having <laughs> having to, to commit to a bo3 like potentially more than once per weekend it could be a little rough on teams but yeah i think 5g port gp war is a great balance between the two options yeah and um sean said in the chat they're starting but there's like i think 30 second delay so it'll happen in a second but all right um i guess now we could talk about they're probably just gonna do like the basic like us north uh, is gonna go ddr <laughs> obviously one three like that's what everyone does <laughs> but um yeah i don't know what canada's gonna do maybe like i don't know there's so many things they could do because you know honestly like not to put them down or anything but they're outran like just in, like raw like driving wise like probably mm -hmm. in just every area so i don't know if they'll lean towards more like like if they're two four they'll go like grumble or they'll go mushroom gorge or maybe they'll just try and see how like rbc works for example or whatever whatever they yeah. decide to do yeah yeah I, I think picking rbc for these spots would sort of be misguided by a team canada i think you know like you said i think it you know they're gonna have to it, it's gonna be very difficult for this team to outplay team us north on on a track like rbc it's you know very tough to and especially with the starting starting first two turns matter so much on that track i think it's it's not nearly as obvious of a catch-up track as stuff like kc and mushroom gorge classic <laughs> light speed kitty cats pick <laughs> <laughs> might see zesty go on that yeah, well, I predicted U.S. North to win, but I do, I do want Canada to win this. I'll be honest; they'd be really hyped. So, yeah. yeah, I think you might be a little biased on that, considering you're a Southerner. But <laughs> fair enough. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, sorry, <clears throat> Yosh, if you could tell us which like POV we watch, like which side in the chat, because I, uh, I'm not sure. Is it the left? Right. Guessing yeah, it's the right are coming up. Yeah, okay, yeah, watch right POV. Sorry, I was not aware. Yeah. Alright. So, what's important is gonna be, uh, like the bag battle, I guess, to start with. Uh, it looks like USA got the 8th place box, but both baggers just go through. Not too sure there's, like, any build potential there, but... Golden 6 coming out for Jack. If he doesn't get hit, they should just take him straight yeah. up at first. That's a huge pull. Yeah, this by far the best item on this track. He just oh, needs to hold, hold on to it. Well, okay, well, not it won't the, take him the first thing more. Yeah, not not, <laughs> not the worst thing ever. At least he's still <laughs> holding on to it. But yeah, it's it's not going not gonna to um, bring him the first. And it looks like Canada's going to yeah. need that because they appear to have 5, 6, 8 right now. Yeah, and 8 low 10 though. Um, but that also could mean Evan's going around cut. He has Bill or Shock, or he just missed the box. More likely yeah. though, he has well, 8 <laughs> lows off, so. They're both off, okay. So no shock in play. Aidlow's 10. Uh, Canada occupying 4, 5, 6, 7, I believe? Or 4, 5, 6, 8. I, I know USA's top 3. And uh, Edison is currently gone in first. Yeah. It's so a little bit of a rough position for, for Canada right now if they don't how are, are not holding any goldens. I, I don't believe they are, but it's going to be tough to break those top spots. Yeah, um, this is already looking like it's probably, unless we see a blue or a shock come out, which Aidlow just fell off, so he does not have it. Um, yeah. And none of none of Canada taking Ultra at all. That's fair. I'm, I'm very curious what Ethan is holding back there. I don't know if he's maybe holding a star banking on Aidlow pulling late, but it's not really going to matter much at this point. Just, pack is extremely split. Yeah. That USA neither POV is, is brutal. Yeah, neither POV is really providing anything, obviously, because uh, Edison's just... Would, yeah, they're just gone like in top three. Jack go for a box there. Obviously, he doesn't want to pull out reds and hit Thunder, but you, you know, he, you need to get oh. a, a pow or blue or something. You have, to, you have to be hitting that box for sure. Yeah, so I, I'm sure Zesty and Thunder were doing it. Uh, or maybe uh, I worded that wrong. I'm sure they were telling them to spam boxes for blue, but. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, <clears throat> Swig was holding blue in eighth anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, Pretty unfortunate, to be honest. The opening was just really good for USA, and uh, Jack failing well glitched with that golden. The golden was really the the, the way they get it up in there. Um, yeah, that's really the piece to the puzzle for pretty much any DDR race, especially if you're starting in the the odd spots or yeah. sorry, even spots. It's very very tough to you know, crack in the top. Yeah, the thing about uh, DDR yeah. and wars is like typically I'd say 
you kind of have to get up there, uh, like ultra lap and lap one. Uh, otherwise, you know, they just break away like they did. And um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I I know Zesty doesn't like to sit at first set, but I'm not sure if he delegated that opening particularly well. I don't, you know, Ethan wasn't able to take cut. Like they, the only golden they pulled was sixth place. Um, I'm not sure what happened to Ethan at the beginning. I know he was back in eighth. And he really should be, you know, chaining stars or golden, or sorry, triple shrooms to try and get that golden. Could have gone really differently if they had both goldens in play lap one. Um, but yeah, it just sort of was, <coughs> was over. Yeah. Um, we didn't see it because we were watching Jack's POV, but, you know, Edison did triple shroom ultra in fourth, and then USA just held on to their top two, so. What a game. Yeah, I mean, not much you can really do there if you're Canada other than just hope Jack can get up there, I guess. Um, but yeah, DDR. only down 17 after race one, they got their pick, but now this is where <laughs> you can snowball into, uh, you know, a top three run on BC Wii. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a very crucial track pick for, for USA here. It'd be interesting to see if they back here. Uh, mo oh, yeah, yeah, he's back <laughs> Matt. Okay, well, I hit nobody, That's a very but... good pull, but yeah, to hit as many people as he would have liked, might have gotten... Yeah, I guess good way out that. Getting Edison out there is pretty good. Uh, yeah, looking like uh, this will be an interesting Thompson. race dynamic though, because I, USA is probably better at doing the glitch than, especially Edison. I mean, Edison can really just go for it right now. Edison's yeah, good. yeah, it's open. It seems someone did not block it properly. Zesty's off glitch. actually, and there Edison's is. making glitch. Yep. So top three for Beautiful USA, done. and uh, one of Canada's like best runners is just in the back, just dead eighth. But yeah. the bagging battle's looking pretty neck and neck right now. Not sure who's barely 10, but it's Evan's barely 10. Mm -hmm. And I don't see him shrooming or anything. Possibly his Biller Shock. Let's see um, what he does right now. Yeah, this seems to be a pretty straightforward race for USA right now. Yeah, so at this <laughs> moment, like, Canada, unlike what they did last race, they need to spam every box here for blue. And obviously, you hope you guys shock, right? But. If you get yeah. pals or blues on this track, you can break up a top three really easily, especially when it's this close uh, of a pack. You never know, yeah. like the USA could mishandle a pal, hit the fire pillar on the spiral, or just you pal them here and they fall off, yeah. etc. This is a Would lot. Really you love to do. see Jack going right side there. I mean, I'm assuming he's not super comfortable with glitch, but I feel like you, at this point, you know, they're top three. You need to. Hey, what? Oh, I'm not sure what USA is doing there. But... Yeah, they both. <laughs> I don't know. Some kind of mistake coming out there. I thought that he was DCing, but. Yeah, he's gonna be falling to eighth here. Yeah. Um. Not much we can really save up. Oh, two oh. Canada members two are off, so this is not not looking great for them. Yeah, lap two, I I I, I would have really <laughs> liked to see Jack holding that shroom and going for glitch. I mean, obviously, going for spamming for a blue or pow is is a reasonable play as well, but yeah, they also I don't need think to be on on blocking for sure. It's just there was very... a pow on Edison's screen, and uh, I, I'm not too sure. I mean, it wasn't Canada's, so yeah. Yeah, nothing really going on at the moment. I don't think... Is that Thunder off? Or is that... Okay, it's a USA member off. Okay. If they were to salvage like a 2-4 out of this or something crazy like that, that'd be huge, but... Yeah. It's also possible that whoever from USA is in the back is just holding blue. We'll see if... Yeah. Oh, oh Swig's actually dying. 2-4 so here coming up for... 2 four, five actually, which would be a massive... That would, yeah, that would, that would be a very impressive salvage. Oh. Okay. He's getting TC'd. Uh, that's, that's probably uh, last... Yeah, no, I think that was a USA. I think Sean got hit on the line, so I think they, he just called to cancel that. Looking like two four six, or no, two four five six. That is Which, not bad at all for Team Canada. Yeah, considering what that was looking like was, uh, that's like fantastic. That's yeah, very good salvage <laughs> from them. I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> very curious what happened left two on the spiral for USA. That would have been a great I... position for them to be in. Taka had triple greens, and yeah. Sean and Taka just sort of hit each other. That's a bit, yeah, obviously very deadly yeah, spot to backspin Jack in. I don't know if they like lag really bumped each other or if it was just like a, oh, pass, I'm gonna slag. And then it sounds like no, no pass, I'm gonna slag. And then. <laughs> yeah, it could have just been a miscommunication like that. Yeah, but uh, plus one okay. race at, for Canada out of that is pretty insane, honestly. Yeah, give him a, a lucky break there. <laughs> for sure. Um. Yeah, I think the only way that race could have gone better is if they were to get like two blues on Edison, but you know, you can't have everything yeah. go your way. Two, four, five, six, <laughs> they're, they're definitely happy. 
for sure. Yeah, very good salvage for them. Um, yeah, those chaining of the two track picks in a row for USA is, is very, very helpful. DDR to BC Wii combo. And let's see if they get a third one right now. <sighs> Alright, Canada does get Koopa Cape, but relatively neutral track. Depending on who gets green shell here, since top spots are so mixed, like 1-3 for USA, 2-4 for Canada. Could just be a, a huge race decider for a set. Yeah, um... Doesn't always go down like that, but... This, obviously, Shroom is extremely... Alright, so we'll see Edison try to do some... <clears throat> Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a second. I was gonna say something no, I just good. forgot, but whatever. We have Edison holding up first. Someone's definitely gonna be shrooming yeah. up. USA talk shrooming up. Zesty I don't think shrooming anyone. Up. I don't think anyone took Shroomba. I saw Taka and Zesty both took that shroom cut there, but very interesting start to a KC race. Normally, I don't see that at all. Yeah, had Jack Golden up there in second, so they're two three. Um, Taka's first, so it's much easier to drop a star if you're like in Evan's POV or oh. Evan's shoes rather than aid low. And yeah, it looks like that's exactly yeah, what he does. That star. Beautiful. It's probably uh, a, this... uh, Taka's power call as well. TC's honestly not bad. Uh, he can make it just like a, well, they got past him pretty easily. Ooh. He, he does pass it to Jack eventually, but he could have made that just like a 1v1 for Taka and whoever else that was. Um, no shock or anything in play like that. Both our POVs in the very back bottom too. Yeah. Um, I believe Tuck is still holding down first with Canada and 235. Yeah, Pack is super close right now. The star drop situation could be very crucial. Mm. This pal as well. Uh, I actually saw yeah. Tuck either hit the zapper or just got hit out of first. So, Zesty's running it up now. Yeah. Because you also have to wonder how many, um, which, which baggers are, are baggers going to be going hard for shock now? I don't know. Oh, but Zesty got hit out too. Back. Yeah, not looking super great for Canada right now. I see Alo hitting a, a lot of boxes. <clears throat> yeah, kind of hard to tell what's going on, obviously, from from these two POVs, but this I believe. <laughs> yeah, I believe Canada's just like second and that's it right now. And Jack just pulled that bill there. If they don't get shock while he's billing, it might just be a little bit too far gone for them. Doesn't look like they do, so. But yeah, Edison pulling those those truth said triple reds there is just you know if you can prevent the other team from shrooming up like that, it's it's very yeah. And then Edison throwing blue, so their only top spots about to get blued out. Super unfortunate for Canada. Oh, it that blue just so fast. skipped the whole track. <laughs> yeah, I think he actually kept. I think he kept it because he got blued on the ramp. Uh, if they are able to hold down first, this is like completely doable. It's, it might. I think it's a bottom three, but yeah. Oh, well, it's a very interesting KC race. I it's 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 always weird to see how those races play out when, I mean, no one took Shroomba lap one. It's very interesting. You know, you have to figure them picking KC for two four is sort of a, a gamble on their second or fourth getting some sort of shell item and then just being able to shroom up and it just feels like Taka was able to shroom up first and get those ground stars. Sort of yeah. Just, um, thunder able to yeah, hold it very down. Good race for USA, yeah. but yeah, Thunder. Fun to come in clutch. Yeah, Very looking nice. like a looking like a plus thirteen for USA, but again, yeah, out of what out of what it was looking like, you know, that blue coming out could have easily been like a top three five for USA. So, um, still very in it for Canada. They haven't pulled a shock yet, and honestly, I don't think they've pulled a blue either. So, only being down thirty two isn't really the end of the world. Like, yeah, I've seen many shocks influencing the race very much at all. KC. Obviously, that shock did happen right at the end, but I'm not even sure who used that. It might have been Zesty calling, you know, oh, he's obviously already losing to Edison there. Might have just tried to gain some spots of the USA members, but... Yeah, that or, like, I, I think I think Sean just, like, TS the cut takers when he spammed that star, but... Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm, yeah. But either way, it did not have very much influence over the race at all. Yeah. Um, MC3 coming out for... <clears throat> uh, Canada, which is just a complete toss-up track, to be honest. And then, uh, <laughs> the stadium yeah. pick. MC3 anyway, so never mind. But this could be a, a very top-fourable race for Canada, honestly. 
this track, as everyone who plays the game knows, is pretty just, I don't know, you get shocked, you win, basically. So uh, we'll just have yeah, to see how it plays out. It's a very interesting pick for Team Canada. I, you know, obviously one bottom three, there are not a lot of, <laughs> I, I definitely wouldn't have picked MC3 by default in those spots, but it seems like it's cool for them. Yeah, it's actually turn going up into first. This is not going to have an item to hit him, and he he'll know that. So, he yeah. can play this however he wants for up until the box, at the very least. Almost clutching um, that Evan, Evan 10 by a lot, but you can't lose Bill on MC3, and Aidlow doesn't have it. So, one Bill would put Aidlow in 10 by a lot, but he doesn't pull it. So, I would assume a runner's holding it. Oh, is Zessie actually... Zessie there. Is Zessie actually just outplaying Edison there? <laughs> Uh, yeah, very nicely done. Predicting that line beautifully. Yeah, Mega coming up from USA, but Swig's first. Shot coming Ooh, for from okay. Adlo, actually. Two two Canada Dodgers. That's put them exactly. In top two, four. That's exactly what they needed. Yeah, top two four here. As long as can as long as USA doesn't get like a golden fifth and then blue, they're pretty good. Um. Uh, this Mega here for Edison. Yeah. I mean, he just has to chain it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that is, yeah, not good, but... Unfortunate pull there. One more chance to get some shrooms. Maybe salvage some, some spots right at the Canada end. Canada top three, actually, like, going into this yeah. last turn. And yeah, they're just, there's Beautiful. just nothing USA can do. I mean... Yeah, it's just, you know... I don't even think Canada got very good chains at all. I mean, I think Ethan got a box in fifth, and Thunder just took up with Mega and called it right after. And just enough to win them the race easily. I, can't, I mean, shotgun MC3 is just so powerful, and honestly, it's it's literally entirely RNG to who gets it. Like, there's no like <laughs> real strat to do anything. Like, it's just if this bagger gets Bill, he can't lose it. He has to he has to like just use Bill. So he's in Bill for like yeah. 10 seconds. Bagger just chains boxes, etc. Yeah, it's always such a crapshoot going going for box tens on tracks where you can't lose Bill, especially you know tracks as short as MC3. Yeah. Top three eight though, great race. Thunder showing out with the MVP here. Yeah. Uh, looking well, to score more him. than the 90 I predicted. <laughs> <laughs> On a very close start. I think, uh, what does that put Canada down? Like less than 10? No, I, actually yeah, 10, 10 exactly. exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. Very great, close war. No, no great way to finish pens. out that uh, that GP for them. They, they definitely needed that. Stop that USA momentum. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, it might have been due to just USA getting the track picks, but... We really, uh, I, th I, th I just think we need to see Canada get up there more, if possible. That shock really bails For them sure. out there. With no shock, I think I think uh, USA was top two five, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. or, uh, Zesty, Zesty was still first, but it would have been a, definitely a, a harder position to win from, for sure. I am, I am a little surprised that they called it that early, knowing Zesty was first with a decent break. But I guess you know, on a track like MC3, there's only so many sets. And USA is bound to be in dodges. Lap three. Yeah, if Zesty was first, I completely missed that. Well. I'm blind, but yeah, Zesty backed. Uh, Actually, you're right. He backed was. Edison yeah, on the, he backed on Edison. Edison. Yeah. Well, so far not too bad in the bag department either. I know we said we had a uh, we were a little bit nervous about Aidlo, but I think it's like two to one. Yeah. Or maybe yeah. Yeah, pretty sure it's like two to one. So you know, very even. Yeah, that was the first real shock that we've seen like heavily influencing the race and obviously so <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, uh, large influence if you're canada you know that top three really just gives you a good mindset you know you think you uh you think you guys have it in the bag maybe not have it in the bag but you guys have a good chance of winning this so Should yeah yeah exactly yeah and you know it's 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 hard playing against a team that their runners are you know you 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 are aware that their runners are better than yours and Especially if they're getting, you know, consistently winning races, winning races one after another. And just getting a, a, a huge race to bring the score closer really helps with mentality. And, you know, we've had to <coughs> deal with it a lot, you know, playing versus like the best teams and <laughs> like just consistently losing races is, is very demotivating. But it's, <laughs> it's, it's very good that they're able to cut that, uh, cut that barrage from USA down. Make it very close yeah. going in GP2. Some of being their second 1 3 track, though, instead of like Maple, for example, is uh, a little interesting. It's I like it, though. I prefer Summit as well. Yeah. I have to wonder if there's some, some Taka influence there. 
Yeah. Um, triple shrimp and four is so good. Cool. Oh, yeah. But he messes up the strat and gets the TC for it. Yeah, that is if rough. He's, if he's able to pass the thunder right now, he could just win the race right now. Oh, oh no, wow. dude. Yeah. Very interesting. I thought that, that is... was a. I thought that was a pass for him because he was shrooming. I feel like it's. It, you know, it's a lot yeah, easier to pass he, TCs, but. He must have just been lagging really bad on thunder screen, but. Canada's gonna be top Canada three, three top right now. Just making even. double. Very exciting. Um. <laughs> Another TC though. Oh, oh, this is Jack. This isn't Edison. I'm stupid. But this is perfect actually. He can just slag as yeah. much as he wants. He should have probably slagged a little harder, I, but it's all good. It, I'm I'm a little confused by that play. I think he just could have drove, and he still gets. He would have made it to Cannon, and then he still gets a box in, in three to four to hit the, the USA players after. Yeah. I feel like risking getting TC there is is just unnecessary. You know, your team is top four. Obviously, you can slag, but also you can just drive and. Backspam the other team. Yeah. So I, 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 can, I don't know if I can kind of respect that. the slag play, but like it didn't make a whole lot of sense, like you're saying. Looks um, like Swig is up there in second <laughs> place. Yeah, I believe Canada's 1 3 4 still after that blue. Yeah, 1 3 4 right now for Canada. Evan and Adlo are, are, are neck and neck, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Adlo is actually doing a great job. I'm not gonna lie, I thought mm -hmm. the tech tracks Evan would kind of break away on, but he's not nope. doing too bad. And they each, someone gets one chance there. I think Adlo has it. Yeah. He's sitting on that thing there. I've oh. never seen anyone sit there. Yeah, shot right, coming yeah. out for Canada there. Do dodging Jack, who is dodging in his star in fourth. 1 4 right now for Canada. He just has to make double. Shaky and he's double? Good. Okay. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's okay. Star. That's, That's good fair. though. Nice you say fa both fail small double. So the, the, all the mid spots are just up for grabs. Edison fails double in eighth. Obviously not on your guys' screen, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, looking like huh. a USA bottom three, I think. Yeah. Wow. DKS pick not working out for them as they had hoped. That was a very interesting bang battle. I, I, I know Ed, Evan was in ten there the when uh, when Abel was holding it at the, the little the hill, but not sure what happened there. But that was a, a very hugely influential slug. It's good that they got it at double. I think if they got it a little bit later, obviously I think Jack might have still won the race, but. Like you said, both of them failing small doubles, just, you know, no chance yeah. of getting mid spots. I'm surprised they, I, they probably <laughs> before this is not horrible, but you know, I, yeah. I, I, I don't think you should ever have two people going for small double at the same time, and you know, they, they didn't really need to. I, I it's yeah, not I like they were getting in top two. I, 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 I feel like that's just throwing away points for no reason. Yeah, I, th I think Taka failed it, but like he didn't lose any. Like he was gonna lose to Jack regardless. So yeah, um, he, he, they got three, four. He kept the same spot, but Swig fell all the way to seventh. Uh, but he failed double ahead of Taka, so he must have gotten like the bad respawn or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And you know, I don't. I, I feel like you know they should know that this guy he's dodging in a star in seven. We're not gonna. They're not gonna beat him anyway. I. It feels like a an unnecessary thing to go for, but. Now we have Canada three points ahead in first. Yeah, this is actually very exciting. It's actually kind of interesting. I wasn't expecting Canada to have a lead halfway through. I was expecting it to be like a 20, 30 point deficit, but this is good. Yeah. This is good content, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Adler's shocks have been very beneficial, but they're also playing well as a team. Seem to be holding on quite well. We'll see how the rest of this plays out. Okay, so, for the opening here, J Jack's starting off in first, uh, keeps first, backs, uh, I think a USA member, back screen wide, misses. I don't see any yeah. Canada members behind him in two, three, or four. Oh no, there's Thunder in second, second right there. I think they tried to coordinate some double backs at the beginning. I think one of them should really go top path there and, and, and back, you know, prevent the USA players from taking double, but, or rock, sorry, but no. Sean and Taka are top two, Swig third place even. Yeah. yeah, um, a path you know, running... future, it's pretty pretty likely Taka and Sean have shrooms. Actually, Sean just backed that red, so probably only Taka if anyone has shrooms. Yeah. Yeah. You know, running top two on GV, sure, it can work, but, you know, if they're not going to try and disrupt the USA players on double, or rock, <laughs> I have DKS on the mind, um, it, it really, you know, they're not going to be able to hold on to those top spots. Yeah, I think yeah, typically, unfortunately, fails rock, rock, which is 
bit of a deal breaker. It's only Thunder now, and top two four is pretty split with Edison having yeah. triple greens. And yeah, just get some green from Edison. Yeah, <laughs> they just top three break. Um, well, does yeah, well. USA in top four right now. Uh, neither Bagger has shock either. This is not looking good at all. Bombing Swig. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. If Jack can somehow luck shrooms here in four, it's possible. Like maybe Alo gets a late shock. They call shock. Jack gets first. Yeah, but, he, uh, he could get second. And he gets triple shrooms. It's actually perfect. Even uh, if no, no shock, he might be able to get third, but that's going to be about it. Let's see if Taka Good can job of winning the Taka red. Here. Oh, oh top he three anyway for you. I think Taka got streamed off, actually. I don't know. He might, oh, he might have crossed, they, but... Yeah, I thought they just hit the, the pole to finish. But, yeah, sort of a, you know... Textbook GV race from from USA just farming all the shrooms, you know. And yeah, when Canada Canada isn't really doing anything in top spots to prevent caught takers, it, it it's it's hard to avoid that happening, you know. Would have liked to see them do a little bit more to try and you know let their bottom spot players, yeah, top three for USA. Yeah, I think typically if you're Canada there, you're starting uh, what top two five six, you should want first to run probably back first turn or something and then your second should be dropping to fourth your next slowest spot gets six and you want to make sure you get box eight because bill on that track can just guarantee shock sometimes yeah um but they didn't do any of that they top two ran which is fine but you have to hit some back spam if you do that i think and they only hit one green for sure yeah and you know i mean they back spam before the cave set which you know fair enough trying to hit the other team obviously is a good thing but after that, they sort of, I think they sort of just autopilot it because, uh, you know, they hit the other team. So it's like, oh, okay, well, they're not an imminent threat anymore. But yeah, I would have liked to see some, you know, bananas and fibs on, on the rock linemen and stuff like that. And Canada didn't really seem to have any cut takers at all. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little curious what happened in the the back there. But it was like Sean Taka and Edison all took rock lap one and they were, they were the first three takers. Yeah, unfortunately, Canada failed Rock, I want to say, twice. Jack failed it once, and someone else that's failed true, it in the yeah. back. And none of the USA members failed, so, you know, yeah. that's that just the difference making the cut. Wins, and wins you the races, yeah. Be very interesting to see how this Gardens plays out from, from Edison in third. Definitely see him dropping back a little bit. Um, Looks like Edison, Ethan back there. Not sure who's in. Yeah, Swig. Yeah, you say you're getting box eight, but no bill, so we're not gonna see anything, any barreling from the baggers or anything. Um, can't see it on our POV, but if we can switch to a Jax, so we're holding it down in first. Uh, nothing but a fib right now, backing it. Oof. Ooh, very close green. Almost, happening. yeah, almost getting hit by Taka there. Um, Canada's Edison get chomped in eight. Oh, all right. Good, good fit from Jax. Reading yeah. his line perfectly. <laughs> uh, I think Canada's one three right now. Uh, USA is occupying four five eight, uh, two four five eight. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, Evan gone absolutely. ten though. Yeah. And Adlo could, losing could be, a, could be an early shock type of race, especially Edison way, way in the back in third, or eighth. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, USA bottom two. Canada or Canada right now two three four, but Evan is still yeah. gone ten. Adlo should probably just be chaining at the first set, but he's opting to keep going back. Uh, definitely I'm a, I'm a, not the play, yeah. but... I'm a fan of these positions for Canada, though. You know, they have three or four box sets to just farm shrooms. Canada, uh, Jack doesn't have anything right now, but... Yeah. I mean, he's doing the most something. of what he can. He's getting greens and just randomly backing them, which is probably the play. Like, just random... Even just random greening the USA members, just making it harder on them is just... Yeah. You know, obviously I think, ideal. I think Zesty's just been driving, so yeah, fun to take and cut. Zesty also taking Oh, cut why is he... Okay, because Zesty's taking cut. I was going to say, yeah. why is he, like, taking half cut? <laughs> yeah, I think Zesty was just holding shrooms. Oh, he did hit something, though. Yeah, not... uh one three for Canada right now. Um, I believe Shockless. Yeah. yeah, it is Shockless. Evan's getting a I box like of tempo here. <laughs> I like that play from Edison, but at 7th place, TC. And that blew, blew out, though. Okay. That is wow. so right. big. It, if, if there's if a shot... Gets... If Dunna gets owned here, it's just gonna be like a one three four five or one three four. I mean for USA, but uh, yeah, Thunder. Yeah, I mean that's just the the blue makes the difference. They're all mid spots for Canada, yeah. all sandwich spots. <laughs> um, but you know, interesting, not, interesting race. 
I, yeah, I, I, I would have thought, you know, obviously that blue is a huge difference maker, but, you know, Canada two, three, four, all race farming shrooms and taking two of them taking cut lap three. I, I'm a little surprised it wasn't slightly better for them. Obviously, blue is difference maker, but yeah, uh... very, very dynamic race, very fun race to watch. One thing I do want to talk about, although Edison was in the back for most of that race, he always, I noticed he always makes sure, like, he hits, like, boxes efficient, and, like, he's always hitting item yeah. boxes, especially when the other team's first. And don't get me wrong, Blue in seventh is lucky, but obviously his chances improve and improve with every box he hits, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of that, you know, he just, like, went completely around the hedge to chain that shroom in seven. Yeah, overall, getting, good, getting good two boxes Edison. there. Um, but top two, bottom two out of Canada's Gardens pick isn't too bad. Evan was yeah. gone 10 all race, just couldn't pull it. You know, happens sometimes, but I yeah. guess no shock was better for USA overall that race. Yeah, I don't think um, they had much of a play for it after, uh, after first set. If anything, I could have seen them using to prevent their Canada's 2-4 from taking cut. But yeah, you know, Canada get a job of, of cycling dodges at the end. Didn't know, don't think there was much they could have done with shock at the end. Yeah, um, and this movie highway. Bones, yeah. yeah, as I say, this movie highway it. pick is a little iffy, in my opinion. Uh, you know, you're, you're top top two, but obviously your bottom two spots are likely to not even get a box. <laughs> Sorry, and um, Canada's third yeah. or fourth is guaranteed to get a box here. Very possible they get triple reds and just red one of them out, but we'll have to see how it goes. I'm sure they practice it in these spots or something. And yeah, looking like Edison actually does get a box. Okay, there was one left over for him. That's fair, yeah, I mean, I think... Yeah, I, I agree with what you said, though. Having someone sit at first set on movie was... It's not ideal. Yeah. Just, can't, just not Oof. able, even if you get a good item, you're not always... Like, Edison there, obviously, that worked out very well for him. Being able to get that, that hill box and golden up to second. But yeah, like you said, having someone sit at first set is just, you know... Even if you get a golden, you can't really... Golden up to a top spot if you right spent, like three seconds sitting at first set. Just a very not a very dynamic track after the first ten seconds. Just one old boost panels. One small thing. Oh, Ooh. Jack, uh, unfortunately missed flying hitting the truck. But one small thing to bring up real <laughs> quick is this track is like notorious for trolling. It's just a pretty thin track. There's cars everywhere you can yeah. get bumped into. Um, and Adlo's very inexperienced as far as I'm aware, at least in, at a high level. So. Um, very possible just to see a like, you know, mistake come out from a bagger just accidentally rack up a minus twenty. Yeah. That would that would that would be a shame at this, you know, very close match. Right now it would be unfortunate for either bagger to get a minus twenty here. Evan, yeah, Evan going very wide there to prevent. Looks like he's in tenth. I don't I know think, if anyone has yet, but I think Evan has. So he he uh, he got shoved there by Edison, did not stream away and he did not hit a car in tenth. Yeah, I would definitely be seeing a Jack. Dodging right here if Ablo had it. Yeah, very, very likely Evans holding in. Holding is probably just the play. They're top. I mean, they're yeah. top two, five, six. Edit, or Taco might be running Swig here actually. Blue coming out. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I, out. Taco or Swig don't have. We're not holding Blue there. A little yeah. unfortunate for Canada that it took so long, but yes. Yeah, I think I think Thunder might win, Fair even enough. though like even with that shock, or not win. He's getting second at the very least though. Yeah. Yeah, second. Okay. All Good try by him. Yeah. And uh, 134 coming out for USA. Yeah, very good race. Yeah, I mean, Thunder's able to hold it down, but I don't know. 1v2 with Sean and Edison is <laughs> obviously not going to be very easy. There's not a lot you can do. Second out of that is great job by him. Yeah. No, yeah, I, I, I agree for sure. That was a very tough position for Canada, that race. They couldn't get blue at all. USA wasn't holding it, but it just took them forever to pull. Right. The the pow lap two actually I I wanted to talk about that they they used the lap two pow on like the yellow car turn mm -hmm. I assume that was Canada's that was almost a very you know if if Edison was like a quarter of a millisecond slower or a quarter of a second slower he might have been powed into that car I I, I assume that they held it for there it wasn't just a, a mindless spam but yeah it was it definitely worked. a little it, awkward it had potential form. yeah yeah um, but you know limited resources I think they did very well to keep themselves in it there is yeah um entering gp3 here uh canada's gonna be down 28 i mean as you can see i forgot there's a scoreboard uh um yeah <laughs> canada's down 28 uh i'm not sure is there anything that you've noticed that you think usa is doing better than canada overall or um yeah i think they've just you know like you said after the first few races they're just 
doing better at holding their top spots. Um, you know, like that race never really seemed to be out of their control at all. They were top two. Even with Edison starting eighth, he just golden up in a second immediately. I'm not sure what happened to the guy starting in second for USA, but, you know, they were able to recover that spot really quickly just by, you know, planning out the start of the race very well. You know, Edison having that golden to make up for, like you said, you know, Moonview... If the other team's starting 3-4, there's a very high chance that they're going to be able to get something to hit you out of top two with, but... Yeah, and also, it's a very good track to be goldening up on at the beginning, so... Just being able to hold on to those top spots is making a difference for them right now. Mm hmm for sure. <coughs> <coughs> that and, um... I mean, that shock on Moonview pretty much just locks it up. The only way it can yeah. Canada can get up there is if they get shock, and Evan was just 10th the whole time, so... Great job by them in both departments, exactly. I'd say. They had all the all the keys there is everything they needed they i will say i think if it picks cm canada just loses i just know <laughs> uh yeah US, or, it's, it's genuinely yeah us month is just gonna be better than them at it 100 percent, and it picks it which is quite unfortunate but uh yeah, you never no, know yeah, we'll SC, see. sc has always been notorious for this track especially the you know first set obviously first set is important a lot of track but this one extremely much so yeah we'll have to see if he can get this box in six and it's a golden that could be huge but it is yeah. it's still also very good but he yeah. says hope at least one more teammate of his gets that talking a star in the cut makes things pretty annoying might be seeing a stop star here now he's Ooh. just the threat uh. of the stop star was enough to <laughs> lose a little time yeah no, i mean, it's uh, fair i yeah it does yeah <clears throat> I mean, it sucks, but hitting those walls is costly. I mean, Swig just, oh, yeah. Swig yeah. just passes and back bombs him <laughs> wow. off it. Like, it's just... And Edison. Edison. <laughs> Edison is doing what he does best. Yeah, Edison's not going to let them hit any boxes in eighth, probably. And if he does, he's going to slag them, so... Yeah. Yeah, looking rough. They're definitely going to need shock here. It's crazy how much those... Uh, someone those actually has seconds. shock. I'm yeah. pretty sure. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. It's in starring Sean. Yeah, oh, never mind. I go. Um. Yeah, I don't see any baggers. I can't. Actually, a bagger might have DC. Oh, I think they DC'd. Yeah. Yeah. I it looks like Evan DC'd. Canada was there. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, big, big for Canada. Yeah. Can yeah. yeah USA DC'd. Yeah. Uh, their bagger. So. Right. Well, that could be a, very uh, big here. Looks like it was losing Bill again, which is a little unfortunate. They do seem to need it right now. Edison holding one of the stars might be pretty influential. Yeah, if, even if even with them to, getting uh, shock, USA's top two for five. Right uh, yeah. Edison shooting that star on the other POV for triple shrooms, getting himself up there. Jack, on the other hand, is just kind of struggling a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't USA know. just top four. Pulling Bill, so Adel has just... shock. He's running forward. Okay. But I... It's so close. Where? They could 2-3-4 yeah. out of this. It's really close. Yeah, they just need to shock themselves in the last set and hope for the best. Should be coming in now. I, I guess Adlo just doesn't have it. Okay, there. It came super late. That was weird. They dodged Sean by mistake, and oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That was a really good job by Jack to not hit that. I would have hit that car 100%. I was, yeah, that was, I was thinking that might happen. Um, wow. I, I'm 100% well, that, that is car, a very, I'm not going to lie. Um, yeah. That is a very beneficial DC from, from Evan. If they don't I'm dodge sure Sean, it's like, reset. yeah. Sorry for cutting you off. If they don't no. dodge Sean, it's like it's like one three. But yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know if he first framed that or if it was just like they called it like just barely too early to try and get him out. But they had plenty of time, at least with the bill. The bill gets first there every time, if even if they have to wait two more seconds. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure, and I I think it was just a mega dodge from Sean because it looked like he was already out there. But I don't know. It's possible they just didn't see him being yeah. bottom four. But um a one three <sighs> five seven yeah. and then okay. Evan obviously gets tenth for DCing, so a plus seven race for Canada or USA. Yeah. Putting them up thirty five total with little three left of, to go. A little bit of a deficit for Canada right now. Gonna need to make some make some plays happen. It that that uh lap one sequence is, is very very funny to watch it's just you know those milliseconds mattered so much the difference between jack being able to stay in second versus being in third and then getting back bombed by swig 
It's obviously yeah. such, such a good pull that bomb in third there, but you know, Jack hit one too many walls on cut and just was able to get rolled by the bomb. Could have been a very different race. Yeah, I mean, and just that's, that's just how important, like, like, like you said, Milsons are in like high div wars. Like you can, you'll see that yeah. so many times. Obviously, usually it'll be like a much smaller impact than that. Like, you won't see the one wall clip cost like two people to get back bombed typically but um you know usually it'll just be something like oh i hit a wall and then now someone's close to me with red shells and they can maybe red me like stuff like that <laughs> like yeah. Uh, yeah yeah no that's definitely something that becomes more important as you move up in divisions and like you said with players like jack and ethan who haven't had as much experience playing in in these you know highest level possible wars it mm -hmm. you know they're more prone to mistakes and those mistakes just get punished a lot harder by when you're playing versus such experienced players like us north has that's not to you know discredit jack or ethan at all though they've, right they've been, they've been doing very well this war keeping it close keeping it tight and yeah i realized it's still very winnable for them i realized I was going to say, you know, USA might be wanting to take their spots there, but they are literally just in their hosting spots. So I don't know why I was thinking that. But, <laughs> yeah, um, it would just be if they want Evan to be in 10, <laughs> I guess. Um, but yeah, pretty uh, pretty good match so far, honestly. I think I think Canada's been kind of exceeding my expectations a bit. I've seen them in the front more than I would, uh, was expecting. Um, Thunder especially. Thunder's been playing extremely well. Um, actually, I'm yeah, gonna look at the yeah. table since we have the time. Might as well just look at uh, in divs. For sure. Yeah, uh, no. So obviously, they're doing well. Yeah, obviously USA up 35. Sean Barry MVP, who was my MVP Ooh. prediction, by the way. All Sean like, Barry is watching. Uh, Thunder already broke my prediction of 90. <laughs> Dusty's not gonna score 112, and <laughs> yeah, Dusty's yeah. on 60. Jack Canada 55. Ethan 45. Taka 57, Swig 59, Edison 74. Yeah. Um, I'm very clean with it right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's just such a good fucking player. He's very fast and, you know, get him in the front. It's hard to take him out. And he just keeps chaining those those big races over and over. And this is definitely can see him hitting a 120, 130 here. Yeah, on top of the being... Sean Mower. <laughs> the Sean Mower. On top of being one of the one of the like best war players online right now, uh, he is just in this room. I think it's like pretty clear he's the fastest player by a lot. So if he's not if he's not really being challenged as much in like uh, like top two fights, like like one v ones against whoever, he's just gonna run away pretty cleanly. And I mean, we saw him do it on CM just now. He was just gone. Actually, no, he dodged. Exactly. Someone was gone. Was <laughs> that was gone. But yeah. um, you know. There were other races he was gone, like earlier, Edison and him just broke away in top two on DDR. Uh, yeah. BCWE, I believe he was first for a lot of it. Or Edison was. One yeah. of the two, you know. GV as well, you know, he just kind of drove and did cut. Didn't get hit. Obviously, that's not as much running as it is just playing smart with shrooms and being able to take cut consistently. But, you know, he's just been doing a fantastic job at staying up there. And his points are showing that. Yeah, and um, it's like nine are in room. Yeah, nine are in room, yeah. so he's running room quickly, thankfully. I'm hungry, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but yeah. Is it door dashable? No, it's not. It's make food time, but... <clears throat> Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. And ten are in. Beautiful. Um, well, again, well only down 35, but even like... A two, three, four, five, nine makes this like a like a twenty point war. Top three makes like a fifteen to ten point war, etc. Like you know, yeah. yeah, three races, anything could happen. But at this point, I I, I have my I have my money on on U.S. North, clutching it out, taking it home. USA, <laughs> USA, uh, USA. <clears throat> oh my God, I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll just Fine. see you right now. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Table is right, I believe. Yeah, it is. Okay. I just want to make sure with the DC. But yeah, so they're yeah. 1 through 5 again. I'm assuming they're just going to go like Maple or maybe even Mountain. Um, 
not sure what I would like to see Canada go. I'd honestly rather, I'd like to see them just go like Mushroom Gorge. Just something like a little more, like, I don't want to say like luck based, but like something where like, I don't know, man. Just something they <laughs> yeah, get I mean, a big race on. They need a big race. If they get shock, it's like top sure. four automatically. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about it earlier. It's, you know, what to pick for two, four, six, eight is, I feel like, even more contentious nowadays than like top spot tracks. Just, it's. They do go Sherbet Land, which is fair. Yeah. Yeah, that too. Actually, you're right. I forgot about Sherbet Land. Um, and yeah, there's the Maple yeah. Pick. No, I, I like that. I like Sherbet Land pick from them. I know Ethan. I think Ethan at one point had Shroomless World Record on that track. Not that it matters much online, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, now if he gets in the first, it's over. Then. It's over. Well, that's yeah. Maple, so it's not those, over. But those Penguin cycles. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. Starting off with Edison's POV, him in fifth here. Interesting to see if he's the one that hops Mike's, in. He's he's yeah. gonna burn out instead, actually. So yeah, I was, I was gonna think. I think he would have been. Yeah, I don't think USA is anyone in color right now. Uh, good it's reaction not... to get that box. I thought Ethan was gonna take yeah. that from him, to be honest. Triple Reds here is so yeah, big. Is... They can break away easy. Yeah, that Jack burnout Chocolate fails on Jack. Much of a more much more of a butterfly effect than USA would have wanted. Oh, his, uh, he was about to talk thought... about the Mega just took it out. And then yeah. Taka Palm stunned it. Wow. Actually huge. Okay. They'd, they'd be 135 right now. Yeah, that's a great turnaround for USA. <laughs> and uh, best driver in the room, Sean Maybe. Barry, is now first. So, Giving away that draft is a little iffy by Taka, but still 1 4. Not the end of the world. Edison Schlagging on the other POV. <laughs> um, I believe like, Canada. One of the baggers is in 10. One of the other baggers is. Uh... Stuck on the bounce, but yeah, that is rough. At... If that's Canada because Canada is in pretty dire need of shock. And yeah, it looks like Evans gone ten. So not only are they one three five six, I believe they are going to be getting uh, probably. Yeah. It depends what item Evan gets, but he's getting at least one box ten, of course. Yeah, Evan or Swig, oh, Swig actually... is off there, but yeah. still USA still decent for there. USA. But if there's a player you want. Uh, in second for Canada here, it'd probably be Zesty. Zesty very good at hitting the other sure. team. Yeah. As you see a green attempt very, come out, but not hitting. Close. Yeah. He got that ground for him too, that had a lot of velocity behind it. <laughs> but he's gonna need to hit uh, Edison here, otherwise it's gonna be top two in, in cannon for... Let's see. Oh, no, he's uh... Oh, oh no, Edison. That is, yeah, that is a oh, weird no. fail. <laughs> oh, and yeah. Is this he didn't dodge actually? That's he did not dodge. Interesting shock. I. Wow. Okay. Oh, uh, Zesty just did Ooh. not dodge shock though. This is so scary. It's just gonna be a tight one v one between him and Sean with dodgers coming up to pressure them both. Yeah. Uh, Chaprosa with for Jack's that, actually huge, and there's a blue immediately. Blue so Zesty's first. From very far away. We'll see. If yeah, but he's on boost. Down. I don't think there's yeah. any way. Yeah. That's rough uh, for Zesty. I think they are Jack's... what like two, three, four, five though. Still. Or no, yeah. they're not. They are Jackie able to protect him a little bit at least. Yeah, two, two, four, five. Top, top two, top four, two five. four, five. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Well, this is exactly top. what Canada and needed. Top two. Oh, as Sean actually gets a shroom to beat Ethan, I believe. But still, hey, Ethan's choking. No, what Ooh. are you doing? <gasps> wow. He failed pound down the line. Oh, Yikes. that is. I'm so I unbelievably like... stupid. <laughs> I like that swerve from uh, from Jack there to try and pass Ethan the TC, but. Barely, it does not pass it. That's still a good yeah, race from Canada, but yeah, unfortunate to see Ethan die on the line like that. Yeah, that sucks. I know the pain. I'm sure he was shaking his controller, or I mean, not shaking. Yeah. He plays on CCP, I imagine. I think he's CCP, so just prone. Yeah, to I'm sure he was just spamming it, and it just didn't work out for him, which is just very unfortunate. But yeah, I mean, also you know, you don't want Sean Barry of all people breathing down your neck at the end of Maple Tree. Right? <laughs> One three five six is very yeah. big. Uh, Twenty five, thirty one, thirty six. Exactly what they need. I know thirty five. It's a plus nine race, so that's still very doable. down twenty six. Yeah, I would. Um, <laughs> I would have loved to see the zesty POV from that shock. I'm, I'm very curious what happens. It felt like he, an, a relatively easy call too. Maybe he didn't realize that Edison failed cut. Yeah, I don't think he slowed down because Edison's like on him. He probably. I don't even know. He also might. He did get in the first, so he might have dodged, and I might have just been wrong. Um, no, but... they were. They were both definitely out of cannon. Like that was a. It would okay. have been way too late. But yeah, I I don't know. Would have been interesting to hear the uh, the Canada call during that shock. <sighs> that is 
just so unfortunate that I think Sean got a ground shroom and beats him, but then he fails pow dodge. What if, <laughs> top two four would have been so big, but yeah, it does. Yeah, down twenty six with Could've... two left is very doable. They certainly have the opportunity to be a lot closer. Going goldmine actually when they're one three five six is kind of strange to me. Um, I've not seen a team. Usually the rule of thumb with goldmine is you pick it when you're eighth because you're the eighth, bagger yeah. can. Yeah, ba bagger just loops forward for those who don't know. Gets a box in like eighth, and then the runner gets a box in ninth or tenth. Your eighth place runner, and uh, it, it's a really good strat because then the very first set you can't barrel through, like you can't squeeze squeeze past it or anything. Yeah, yeah, it's very interesting to see. You know, even when you're seventh, I can still see it. You can sort of adjust your line to get that box, but oh, that was Ooh. a <laughs> red shade red. Out. Okay, fair enough. Jack is off the track. I guess throwing that red isn't bad because Thunder had a fib in one, so if even if Jack has to red uh, and take out Sean's trail, Dude, you know. The trail, yeah. Yeah, it helps Thunder out at least to keep first, so. Yeah. No, Not yeah, the worst I don't play, think it's a horrible it. play. It just. Oh, missing his drift there. And yeah. <laughs> no, no, no detach. Towards the seven is not really what you want. Yeah, stream is in bottom two right now. Edison, or Evan, sorry, appears to be in 10th place. And aid low, unfortunately, with the bill. And Evan, I believe Evan's just using nothing in 10th. So, more than, more than likely, he has shock. Uh, yeah. We're about to see here what he does. And uh, no, he, he dives off. No shock in play. Jack's just getting, unfortunately, owned by Edison. Screws having a little battle Ed back here. <laughs> well, Edison doing what he does best. For those who don't know, <laughs> Edison is just very good at hitting the other, the other team. Very tilting player to play against, but... Um, yeah. yeah. Can't see much of the Ash right now, but the pack is still very close. Pretty positive that's a, uh, Thunder that's still a very first. Star. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. That could be a really um, crucial star pull if, uh, you know, if, if Avo does get Shock 9. <laughs> um, yeah. Only, would... only real way for Canada to, to win this race. It but appears neither bagger has it. Uh, well, he, he sure just hit a box in 10, so it's possible, <laughs> but Adlo's fallen off like three times now, so no, no Shock for Adlo here. Yeah, it's like Edison is just using that star to cover the TS. Mm. Canada occupying 1-3 right now, but they are bottom 2. This isn't as big of a race as you'd like. Yeah. And uh, Bl Blue's thrown, actually. So I, yeah. I don't even know. Oh, Th Thunder lost first. And then an Adlo shot coming oh, in, I'm pretty wow. sure, because... No way Canada... He bumps Thunder off! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> wow. No way. Dude, that is such a huge <laughs> point speed for US North. Oh my That's god. That's crazy. Wow. That is so big. Without that bump off, Canada's getting That's top crazy. two and then yeah. whatever is Zesty and Jack yet. So it would have been a winning race no matter what, but I think USA gets 2-3-4 off that. Yeah, and Canada bottom two. That is insane. That is such a good heads up play by Edison there. I don't know if... I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure no, I... ob obviously everyone saw it, but being able to like hop into him and just barely nudge him off while he's wheeling is just so good. Yeah, yeah two three just... four out of that. That was beautifully done wow. by Edison using his his momentum. I think you know he you know when you're coming off that ramp and everyone else is on the bottom path, you're gonna be lagging yeah. too. Like your position is gonna be accurately updated. So, and I think um, I think that makes the war like Canada's hands now. Yeah, I think that makes it like you have to all run to win here. Yeah, they're down um, 33, so need a an all run at least a top <laughs> four eight for a tie. Yeah, that was a crazy just... ending. We haven't had many crazy endings so far, but that was uh. <laughs> That was that was wild. Yeah, but that just got unfortunately the controller mishap for Ethan just really costly here. Cause if they get that top two four, you know, it's still winnable without the all run. But now it's like looking like they're gonna go like RMC or something and yeah, they yeah. go RMC. RMC pick coming up from Jack. Uh, only stadium. down thirty three. Yeah, only only thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deficit for one race at all. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it's, it's doable <laughs> for a uh, top four, like eight, top four, eight ties yeah. it, so. Yeah, top four, eight is but the minimum stadium here. would be very unfortunate. Okay, perfect, so. Yeah. Not really doable on th if it was stadium, I think. But yeah, because Evan can just RNC chain boxes and fall off a bill, but this is, um, this is a little trickier. There's no box really close to the chain chomp, so if Evan's in 10th and he gets bill, he has to go to the chain chomp and then wait for the chain chomp cycle to lose bill. Yeah. Giving Canada chances to get box uh, box nine. I don't think this is how Canada intended to start that. All four of their runners <laughs> driving. I don't. I'm I not mean, I, I guess. 
I, I guess they just wanted to, um, I don't know, establish frontal presence with Aidlo in the back. Maybe they think Aidlo can just stream up. I don't know. Um, yeah. But Edison's not going to let them in ninth for even a second here. So this and he's holding Bill. There's no way US North doesn't get shock. It'd be pretty insanely unlucky for them to not get shock. And box knife for it Jack looks, there. Yeah. It's only a star. I know it did. I'm I'm surprised Edison didn't slow down more. It, it, I feel like that could have flashed a box nine for. I don't think he wants to get Bill out of out of Edison there, but not really much he can do anymore. No no real chance of getting shock. Yeah. Um. The thing is about Swig and Edison here, they're falling super far. Okay, Edison uses the bill, which is definitely the play. They're falling super far behind. Um, yeah. Okay, bot bottom three for USA right now. Someone's getting hit in first. <laughs> I think someone, is... yeah, someone getting blued there or something. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Canada's just farming mid spots and hoping for beneficial items. I don't. Yeah. Currently occupying four, five, six, seven in either second or first. Can't tell which. Triple streams here is, is a big play. Big but if, if USA gets yeah, shocked, like Edison USA should honestly just. First. Whoever, like, someone should just individually get a top spot if they, yeah, and that's exactly yeah, what they is. do. This, this yeah. is just going to lock the war up. There's nothing Canada can do about it. Yeah. And yeah, this should be a USA win pretty easily, mm -hmm. unless they both hit the Prana plant last turn. <laughs> <laughs> that would be something. That would be and they hit it. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. The top two right. for USA locks up the war. Um... And not much to say about that race. I mean, they played it as how they should have. Sat in 8 ninth the whole race and occupied top spots at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, USA did exactly what they needed to do. <laughs> I, I don't know about the, the opening for Canada. I mean, they <laughs> just sort of put themselves in a, you know, a position where they have to just farm every box that they can. I feel like at least one of them needs to stop there, especially with a track with a cut that saves three seconds at the very beginning. I don't... I assume there was a miscommunication because you don't really ever see a team just... <laughs> all four driving past for a set but yeah i'm not sure if all running kind of threw them off or what but yeah. you know regardless good good effort by canada although usa got top two they got the only losing race for top two just top two bottom three so <laughs> only lose by 32 yeah, plus, plus 32 for <laughs> usa that's about what we yeah. predicted yeah um thunder Sean 119 for canada gigantic points yeah, yeah. Sean, 133. Sean 133 pretty good performance from those two yeah uh obviously usa as a whole team performed well <laughs> and uh, they'll be moving up to one and oh and canada will be going down to zero and one with um yeah. canada's possible matchups so far being italy norway and germany and then u.s north as it currently stands could play against south england and uh france and i france. believe yeah. yeah yeah very cool to see france yeah. beating that uh germany roster <laughs> yeah, good upset nice to start the yeah. the tournament. But um, I think that's all we have for the uh, tournament or for the cast tonight. Um, mm -hmm. as far as I know, there is a match tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern for anyone looking forward yeah. to that against uh, Benelux and Scotland. Yeah. And other than that, I think all the other matches are just like your default time. Um, yeah, quite a few matches tomorrow, I think. Actually, yeah, yeah. and I'm India and Latin if... America play at five, I believe too. Yeah. I'm, I, I was going to say, I'm, I'm, I'm hyped for that one. That should be a great match. India, you know, been tearing it up recently in the scrims. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, should be interesting. India and LTA is a really good matchup. Hopefully we can cast that. I won't be here for it, but hopefully it'll get casted just because I think that's a good one to show. But, um, yeah, I don't World think there's Cup. much else to say. That was, um, that was a World Cup match if you guys didn't know. <laughs> and Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching. It was a great, good match. Oh, Our actually, before we go, team. someone, sorry, someone in the chat oh, said yeah. uh, India and LTA will actually be casted, I believe. Uh, let me check. Should be in the chat. Yeah. yeah. It'll be Saturday, so tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern, uh, casted by Zexagon and Dragonfly. So, yeah, I think that's all from Matt and I, unless you have anything else you want to add. Not at all. Shout out B. Yosh. Beautiful yeah, thank you, Beers, for uh, streaming this to us so we could do this. Much appreciated. Thank you, everyone, one, everyone for watching. Yeah, I think that's and it. And yeah, that should be it. Thanks, guys.